Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we decode the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we are going to analyze a large cap industry and this is a popular stock as well and the women go crazy over uh, uh, this particular company's uh, products. So the name of the company is called as Nika and uh, it is actually into consumer products kind of a thing. And uh, you might have heard uh, about Nika. So these guys are into healthcare, uh, beauty and personal care and fashion products. So basically more and more these guys are into the personal care and beauty products. And if you look at uh, the revenue, almost 90% of the revenue is coming from beauty products and almost 9% of the revenue is coming from lifestyle that is uh, clothings and other things okay so fundamentally uh, the stock is looking okay I'm not gonna say since it is a large cap industry it is not meant uh, to be that this particular stock is uh, going to do much better than its peers that is not the case so when I look at uh, the fundamentals of this company it is uh, looking okay it is not looking too good but at the same time it is not looking too weak as well but I have some doubts uh, on this company for uh, holding it for a long term viewpoint. All right. So I'm just going to show the fundamental. I'm just going to show the technical pattern that is formed in Nika and I'm going to ignore the fundamentals. And uh, just as a quick uh, uh, explanation, I've already gone through the fundamentals. It is looking just a little bit. OK, right. So one important thing what I witnessed in from the fundamental viewpoint is the institution's presence is huge. So if you look at the institution present, it is almost uh, close to uh, around 25 to 30 percentage. So that is a huge press institution presence in Nika. And that is the only positive sign that I see uh, when I look at the fundamental character properties of uh, Nika. OK, so moving on to the technical chart. This is a weekly time frame chart that I'm showing over here. And as you can see from its IPO price uh, of 330, Nika made high till uh, 430. Uh, 30 and after that the stock basically came down so it made a low of almost uh, 100 and uh, around 114 and right now we have a reversal in this particular stock right so technically uh, when you need when you need to uh, uh, do a proper technical analysis you need to have at least three years of data so that is a uh, uh, that is in case if you want to do a proper technical analysis for investing in a particular stock for a long term viewpoint. But over here in Nika, we don't have three years of uh, chart data. So the IPO listing was somewhere around uh, first week of November. And uh, we are once again in the last week of November uh, 2023. So we still have only two years of data uh, from Nika technical uh, chart. So uh, from whatever pa uh, no the chart that is visible to me, I can say only a short term investment viewpoint in Nika. So we're going to we're not going to look into Nika on a long term uh, viewpoint. So it is only going to be a short term investment or trade for me. OK, so this is on the weekly time frame and uh, moving on to daily time frame. The stock has taken support around at uh, 114 and it is reversing. So this particular zone over here is going to mark as a strong level of uh, uh, resistance earlier. So this resistance got broken out uh, around uh, let's say 13th November that is the second week of number we have a clear cut breakout and the stock is moving up. So this particular resistance right now it is going to act as a strong level of support. So I'm just plotting the support zone in blue indicating a strong level of support. So from the support and resistance uh, level we have a clear cut breakout in Nika. But if you plot a trend line like this on the lower side, it actually becomes an ascending triangle pattern. So over here we have a clear cut breakout from this ascending triangle pattern on the upper side. And the stock is already uh, the breakout zone is going to be around 150, but the stock is trading right now at 169 rupees per share. So it is almost uh, 19 points uh, above from the breakout zone. So it is not recommended to enter into this uh, stock at the particular uh, current market price because the risk reward is not going to be that much great. OK, so uh, in order to uh, look into my buy price, I have to show you the stop loss first. So this is going to be the current market price and this is going to be my stop loss and we are going to freeze only a single target of 190. So this is going to be a single target what I'm going to freeze for Nika and this is going to be a short term investment. So this is going to be my uh, target and below this particular low. So this was a previous low in Nika. So below this particular low you can keep your stop loss. 
So if you look at uh, the risk reward, the risk reward is basically 1 is to 0 0.6. It is not even meeting 1 is to 1. So it is a very bad investment stock at the current market price. You're not supposed to enter at the current market price. You're not going to get a good risk reward. So what I recommend in this particular stock is wait for the stock price to come down till 160. So if it is coming down till 160, then your risk reward is going to be at an acceptable level of 1 is to 1.2. It is still below our standards. So the usual standard what we uh, keep over here is uh, a minimum risk reward of 1 is to 1.5. So it is still not meeting our standard but uh, you can take a small amount of risk and you can start accumulating in, uh, in this particular stock below 160. So when the stock price touches 160 you can start uh, accumulating this particular stock and uh, the best buying zone for me is going to be around 150. That is going to be the best buying zone for Nika. And in case uh, best case scenario if the stock is coming down to my best buying zone of uh, 150 I'm gonna have a risk reward of 1 is to 2.9 so let's round it up it is going to be 1 is to 3 so for a risk of 1 point my reward is going to be 3 points and that's going to give me an overall stop loss of 14 points for a target of almost 40 points so that is a good risk reward ratio what I can live with and uh, since uh, uh, the fundamental of this company is not looking too good I'm not convinced uh, in investing in this particular stock for a long term uh, viewpoint. So this is still going to be a short term investment and the maximum holding period is going to be for a period of four months. So just within a period of four months, I'm looking at a returns of almost 26 to 27 percent. So let's calculate our returns as well. So this is going to be my best buying zone and this is going to be my final target. So I'm looking at a returns of almost 26 to 27 percent. So that is a risk uh, return on investment what I'm expecting from Nika. Okay, so my buy price is going to be buy and dip still 150. My stop loss is going to be below 135. That is going to be a good level of stop loss. And uh, my final target over here is going to be 190. So I'm going to keep a risk road of 1 is to uh, 3 best case scenario. And the return on investment is going to be almost 27 percent. So it is a good pattern that is formed over here, but uh, the pattern uh, will be valid only, you, you have to enter only when the stock price is coming below 160. I repeat, from the current market price, you are not supposed to enter because we are not going to have a good risk reward ratio. So just wait for the stock price to come down till 160 and after that you can keep adding this particular stock till uh, our best buying price of 150 and hold it for your targets for returns of almost 27 percentage. Alright, so that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on Nika. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learnt some informative things from, the, from this video. And as usual, if you like my analysis, please do click on the like button. And if you really want to support our channel, please do consider subscribing to our channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, it's bye from Chris. Take care, bye-bye, and thank you for watching.